Lee, <gasps> what's that sound I hear? <gasps> Is it the sound of you getting in a car crash and all of your gear <laughs> sadly <laughs> being destroyed? Oh, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Andertons are here to save you. Of course. They have given you a thousand pounds to get a new rig. Thank you. You've got a gig in half an hour. Okay. And you only have, let's say, 25 minutes <laughs> to actually pick your gear. Right. What do you do? So, I very kindly, I called ahead and um, I thought initially, I was like, right, okay, get half decent amp. This is where my thinking was. Um, start there and then see how much money I've got left. Obviously, I need a bass. But um, so, initially, me being a, a jazz bass nut, I thought, right, this is fine find a jazz, a reasonably priced jazz. Hence this pick, but Cece very kindly just put it out. The color coordination here is stunning. So uh, the black and the orange, I'm already a little bit sort of swayed by that, but it's all about how it sounds and how it feels obviously. So um, yeah, so I started here, but I picked a few other options that I, I maybe like little outsiders normally to my picks, but this in particular, there's 200 quid off this. Mm -hmm. So Anderton's give me free reign. So that might be a possibility as well. So. And I picked five strings mostly because that's generally what I use now. Yep. Um, but, uh, and I've got a little distortion, a little overdrive here. That's the only thing I've normally, it's just flown out the window. It's smashed against a tree. Um, <laughs> my, my very small pedal board that doesn't have much on it. It's normally just a tuner and, uh, and a gain. Um, so this dark glass B1K, I'm thinking, right, that might be a good substitute yep. for the smashed one in the tree. Um, okay. And this, this lovely little Marcus Miller Mark Bass, um, it's a 60 watt amp, um, so it's really, I just picked it for just a half decent on stage volume, DI being the most important thing because we're going out front of house. Um, so that can be the main main power going through there, going there, as long as I've got a decent monitor on stage, that's normally my thinking of these things. Um, so these are always reliable, always got a nice kind of flat sort of EQ sound yeah. to base, you know, yeah. build on to, I'm sorry. Um, so that was my initial thought with this. So I'm thinking... So that's why you went for that? Yeah, that was, the, that was thinking around that sort of four or 500 pounds. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that sounds, sounds decent. I could go slightly more power, but a slightly more affordable amp. But I think, no, actually, let's just stick with quality there and then see if I can just compensate a little bit with the, the basses. Makes total sense. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. <laughs> and we're not too late. And the sound man's not too angry. Um, <laughs> So if I just, I'm just gonna so I'll play this, I'll yeah. give you guys a, a, an idea. Um, so this is all, everything full on. Uh, this is a passive jazz bass, by the way, as well. This is the V3P from Sire. Um, new ones out, so none of the preamp gubbins and everything, this is just straight passive jazz bass. So here's how it sounds. Just a little bit of dirt. And this, to be honest, in my setup, it's only for the, uh, just at that little bit of grunt, you know, mm. literally itself. I've got this turned right down just with the gain. Obviously, you know, the dark glass stuff can just go mad, you know, <laughs> like, so we can get a bit of that out of it if we need to, but that's very rare with the stuff that I do. Yeah. But so just a little bit of grunt gives you this. Tasty to me, yeah, yeah. Might be worth explaining what you do to the people. What I do, so no, nothing too fancy. I, I but I, it's mostly functions, weddings, bar mitzvahs, parties, whatever you fancy. You know, we we will be there. So um, a bit of everything and um, a bit of a mix of music and everything. Not nothing too different. Mm -hmm. All in the kind of rock vein of things, pop rock. Yeah. A little bit of funk. So if I need a real, real clean sound, that's where I was thinking. Say we could really clean this up. Play around with the EQ a little bit. I might actually just push the mids a little bit on this. Um, so uh, no, no weird prog soundscapes then. No, not yet. And, but this is the thing. So like hearing hearing you do your thing is like it's, it's one of those things. Oh, 
If only, come on, come on, I could be a bit more creative, come no, on. No, like, no, oh. I think there's, there's a thing where I hear, I have the same feeling when I hear you, so we're <laughs> fine. No, 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 right, right, so there's this, but it's quite a good experiment, I think, with this, because yeah, we definitely. are quite different yeah. with our setups, so, yeah. um, but I definitely, I love, yeah, what you do with, say, we can open it up, but no, I don't get any of that free reign at the moment, it's just like, <laughs> no, play it, play it as it's meant to be, so, um, so yeah, that was my initial thought. I knew I'd, I'm a jazz bass fan, so I knew this would be feeling comfortable. So I think maybe I'm just going to give one of these new guys a go over here. Yeah. See how see that feels. See if one beats the other one. Yeah, of course. Sweet. So oh, we have a little sub. I can't even remember what this is called. Sterling. Sterling Stingray 5. Very nice. I get confused with the names. The sub Sterling. I know. Um, but this is beautiful. This was about 450, I believe. 450 pounds. So it's in, just in budget. I've always lo I love the Music Man sound. Um, I always loved their necks as well, so it was one I just thought, right, look, we haven't got, we've got limited yeah. time. We've got limited time. It's just, a potential. It's a potential. Yeah. So um, I haven't actually played this yet, so um, this is going to be first reaction. So let's just see how it, how it goes. I think we are all on and using the middle selection. It sounds like this. I like, I like it, I like it. It feels really nice actually. Does it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, initial, initial thoughts. Uh, actually, let me just spin this. Let me just spin this. <laughs> See what it does, dial. spin the dial. Okay. It sounds nice. It, yeah, it does. It's got some, some meat to it. Um, the, the only other thing I've uh, sort of noticed, it, the, the neck size is a little bit chunkier than the sire. And just because I was using those until it's smashed somewhere in a field at the moment. Um, so I guess I'm used to that neck shape, yeah. you know? So this is a little bit chunkier. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the only thing that's a bit like, oh, a little bit alien, but the sound is lovely. Uh, yes. How does it compare with the GNL? That's exactly what I think. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's an interesting two humbuckers and some switching yeah. gubbins going on. So um, let's try that one. Let's try that one. GNL. GNL. Um, I believe this is an L two thousand five hundred. I believe. Um, this initially, I walked straight past it. It was like six hundred fifty quid. Yeah. I was like, oh, it looks pretty. And then Ollie in the shop was like, no, no, wait, wait, it's on a deal. It's on a deal, it's 450. So, so well, you picked the right time to get in a horrific crash. Right? Totally, <laughs> yes, that's it. If there was any time to do that, I'd pick the right moment <laughs> <laughs> to risk all of your lives <laughs> and mine. Um, so yes, so yeah, this is uh, on a deal. So it, let's see how it goes. Um, we're just going through very kindly, Oz has helped me with the switching. So you'll see here, we've got a uh, pickup selector and this little, little switch here. Uh, this is Parallel. Something else, so, yeah. So, so parallel series, series. That's it. Series parallel switching, and these are three preamp kind of flavors, as it were. So, um, nice. and then a volume for each pickup and a tone. So, uh, and you'll see these the um, is it the MFD MFD pickups, which are yeah certain fancy magnets basically that uh, old Leo <laughs> sorted out for us many a year ago. But they're great. They're great. Fancy magnets. <laughs> fancy mag. That's the way <laughs> that we describe things around here. <laughs> Um, but yes, they do some really, basically the magnetic field splays out at the top, the top, I believe there's something around it and you're meant to get a better res you know, response from each string. Lee, before you, before you start playing, Lee, can I ask your opinion on the headstock? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can deal with it. I know it's a bit of a touchy subject, old headstock shapes and things, isn't it? But you're not playing the headstock. You're not, that's it, very true, not playing the headstock. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I could, I could live with that. I, I, and look, Sire have got their, their fair share of abuse with their headstocks and I think it's I think it's fine. I don't think it looks like a foot, but some people do. <laughs> so, you know. Okay, so let's see what this is doing. I think this is neck pickup, but let me find out. Thank you. 
got something about it and then bridge I mean that's it sounds nice doing something that's doing something okay I'm just gonna play with switches No, this is lovely. This is really, really lovely. How, how does it feel compared to the other two? It actually, it feels quite similar to the Music Man neck, but for some reason on this one, I, I just um, it's not feeling as you know alien. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. See, it actually feels comfy, even though it's quite big still. Um, nice, nice shape to it. The satin finish is really, really nice. And these pickups are really doing something that I yeah really yeah. really like. Um, to be honest, I mostly will use. Uh, neck pick up uh, for what, I, what I'm doing, but yeah, that bridge sound as well, just for my own mm. when I'm on my own. <laughs> like, it's got like a, a beefy jazz bass House, bridge pick up, yeah. which is what I'm loving, I think. So, uh, th this has actually surprised me. Do, do you want to go back to the jazz bass, compare it? Yes, yes, go back to the jazz. Rightly, time is ticking away. Oh yeah, They're okay, starting good to job. sound check. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can hear the rumbling of the kick drum. <gasps> oh, yeah, kick, more kick, kick, snare. some more kick, snare kick. Play the whole kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight off, that's got it's a little bit more subtle yeah. and warm. It's really as, lovely. As defined. It's yeah, it still Smooth. sounds nice. But actually, I think. It... <laughs> See, I haven't got to change any settings on there, so like, it's quite surprising what those what this is doing with those mm. pickups. So. Oh, okay, right. Okay, we've got five minutes. Oh. So I would normally gravitate towards this mm -hmm. and probably to be, to be safer. Yeah. I should, but I'm gonna go to GNL. Ah! Oh. Yeah, yeah, that is a that is a deal. That is a deal. So yeah, so at 450, this is about the same, I think about 500. So yeah, well, I'll do a quick total up. Price check. Price check! The totals are in, totals are in. I've gone over by seven quid, oh. seven pounds, but hopefully, Anderson's will let me off. All right, can I pay the seven pound? And Anderson's pay the grand still? Yeah. That sounds great to yeah. me. You are a pint. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, no worries, I can do that. Can do yeah, so if that's okay, with the B1K, I've got myself a tidy little setup. But say, I mean, Dave just made a really good point as well. Like, this GNL is really pushing with this preamp. So that extra grunt that I normally look for on my overdrive pedal, I, can, I might even be able to get away by driving the bass and the amp. So. We could forgive that seven quid if, if we need to, but uh, if you let me off that, you know, it's, well, a, it's a nice pedal. Is that it? Because I hear the sound of them picking up their phone ready <gasps> to call you and fire you. Oh, <laughs> good point, good point. Okay, yeah, no, we're done. We're done, I'm happy. Yeah. The GNL and the Mark Bass and the Dark Glass is gonna save the day, yes. Cool. And we probably need to order a taxi, right? Because the van's screwed. Yeah, probably need to order a teleporter at this point. <laughs> and a t yes, right, okay. Elon? <laughs> yeah. um, how are you getting on with that teleporter? Um, so yes, nice. Well, there we are. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that was helpful. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Stick around, like, please subscribe if you haven't Comment. done that already. Yes, comments. More videos over here, or maybe over here. Over there. Um, but yes, other than that, we'll see you very soon. Love you lots. Ta-ta! Thank you.